That's just a bit of a testing thing for this 1.6 kilowatt, although they claim it's 1.8 kilowatt, it's more it's more of a surge rating. A uh, Ryobi power station that I got for running some neighbor's refrigerators in the event of a really sustained blackout, because either limited or no generator capacity, whereas I've got many tens of kilowatts of battery and right now 13 kilowatts of solar are going to be going on anywhere from 16 to 18 depending on how much I expand things. So anyways, I've got it running this 150 watt halogen work light right now. Um, test ran refrigerators a couple of days ago when I got it and it successfully ran our refrigerator and chest freezer for quite a few hours. So anyways, going to be doing some grinding. This is running on the thing. That works. And there's another bit of an experiment on it. Yeah, welder dog bone. Yep, there's the welder with its uh, 120 dog bone, which I actually haven't used yet. It's the first time I've ever used this on 120 volts, and I'm only just weld on 240. And I'm not going to be cruel and nasty. I'm just using some... Uh, uh, 1 16th inch 6013s rated for what is it 20 to 45 amperes I find these run happy at about like 30 to 32 because I do have a fairly big selection of rods um, you know I'm all 6010, 6011, 6013, 7018 and what have you but I've also got some 7014, some 7024 in I think it's Oh, this, what, this, those are 7014s. This is some 7024. I got some 76 or yeah, 7016 here. Um, got some 6022s as well, uh, decking rod. And I've even got some 9015 uh, boiler rods. So, but yeah, nothing really adventurous because expensive thing. Don't want to prematurely kill it. Now I'm not going to be doing any direct shots of the arc because I don't want to burn up the camera because it still works. But I will be showing somewhere where the light is shining off of. And you can see it's 14% load. By the way, the load meter on this is based on a 1.6 kilowatt base. So I've tested it at 320 watts with uh, two of those lights and a 20 watt string of Christmas lights. And it shows at 20%, which is 20% you know, of uh, 1.6 kilowatts. So that's what it's based on. So even though it doesn't tell you power directly, which you should have the option to do, it will, um, you can figure out the power. Just uh, multiply the percent by um, 16 watts. Although, be forewarned, in some of my testing, it doesn't really show reliably below a few tens of watts, much of anything on the meter. Yeah, we are welding. Uh Go. Again, not exactly the cleanest bead, but I am running a welder on it. Go back down over to We can do another one. Aha! One entire stick rod. Granted, it's 16th, 6013. And there's another load test. This is a 100 watt high pressure mercury floodlight. Some cheapy Lithonia, you know, residential grade thing, but got a really good deal on it recently. 
Also, I'm using a General Electric uh, phosphor lamp, not the caster that it came with because caster mercury lamps are not screaming the high quality. And you can see it's still, oh no, it's a 3% load. And it's running 341 VA. So that means that that load base thing on it is, um, yeah, 68 watts. So again, not screamingly accurate. Focus, you. There we go. Well, okay. It's not screamingly accurate at uh, low powers, and also the poor power factor of the load might be throwing it off. Because, yeah, six cycles per second. 0 0.21 power factor. Or 0 0.22. I'll be back in a couple of minutes when it warms up all the way. And it's now warmed up all the way. Autofocus is kind of wigging out a bit. Here's the tree that I'm uploading for this test. Claiming 6% load. And coming out here. 122.8 volts. 1.80 amperes, 115 watts. Really typical for a 100 watt mercury fixture. It uses a uh, single potential high leakage reactance auto transformer type ballast. 222 volt amperes, 60 cycles per second, 0 0.51 power factor. I have not power factor corrected this fixture. Um, I still need to do some testing and harmonic analysis in Schmo, but uh, yeah, it's working. And here it is, good 20 odd minutes later, probably. Total lapse time of 55 minutes, 10 seconds. It has the lapse time counter on. There I am. It has a lapse time counter right there. See all the batteries are still reporting four bars. As I am running this with the intelligent, what are you? There you go. I am running this with four uh, six ampere hour batteries. Didn't buy it with those, so I got a really good deal on the batteries separately. But I did get the one of these that had two batteries. Because this was a special one-day sale where for the price of the bird tool I could get it with two batteries, so I did that. Um, and these are bigger, uh, two, I can't barely see much, but uh, these are the fairly large uh, batteries that use two ampere hour cells. So they're a, th a 3P10S or 10S3P, whatever the thing is, where the ordinarily a lot of the batteries you get are in the four to six ampere hour range are uh, use, you know, uh, two cells in parallel and then 10 in series. These use uh, three in parallel and then 10 in series. To make up the 40 volts, technically it'd be 37 volts nominal, but you know, market trades and what have you. And a cat, which you can't see because he's black. And uh, let's turn the light on. There he is. Hey Josh. Crazy psycho kitty. Yes. A little douchebag, yeah, it's like bringing dead things into the house. And live things, and letting them go, because you're a prick. And the light's still working.